how to build an application in case you get uh, broken arrows. So I'm going to make it a short uh, uh, name. Control C, Control V, get rid of the underscore. Don't have underscores preceding anything. Don't know why. And go into Advanced. This is LabVIEW 2013 Service Pack 1. Turn this off and this off. Turn this off. And the reason we're going to do some exclusions is because when it tries to remove these things, LabVIEW blows up. So now you're ready to build your application. The application will take a whole lot longer to build, which is fine. So I'm going to pause now. Worry that it takes a long time to build. The reason it does is because it's not excluding all those things that it couldn't find. I've started a stopwatch on my iPhone here, so I'll tell you how long it takes. I think it takes about four minutes or so. Usually if you don't click those, the thing's built almost within a minute. So this is worth the extra wait so you don't have to find those those files it can't find. So I'm going to pause again. It's been four minutes to get about halfway. So I take the time to fill with the guitar. Well, it all took 45 hours for my to go The entire thing, I was used to 3.8 milliseconds of the pile. Darn thing there. Eight minutes now, and now it starts doing all this where you could see all this stuff it's saving. Things you won't even recognize. These are part of the the sub-VIs that are used that it needs to, to compile properly. Ten minutes and you'll start recognizing some of your uh, VIs you wrote. This particular thing probably has 250 sub-VIs and that's a really big fat program. Almost done here. We're at 12 minutes 40 seconds. Now it says it's building the application at 1302. Sometimes it might say not responding. It'll come back. Not to worry. Okay, it's done at uh, 15 minutes, 6 seconds. This is um, Windows 7 uh, behind a VMware Fusion on a Mac... What is this thing? Macintosh something or other. What the heck is the name of this machine? Mac... Uh, Mac... Uh, oh, God, I forgot the name of this computer. You know, it's an iMac. It's an iMac. This is what it is. A very nice machine. And now I'm going to show you something. Now what you want to do is you want to click Explore before you click Done. And this will open up your, um, your, your file. When you double click, I'm going to show you what you're going to get. You're going to get this nag screen from Windows. We'll want to learn from LabVIEW how to get rid of this nag screen. So I'm going to double click the, auto, the executable. Here's the nag screen. Uh, Please tell me how to get rid of this uh, LabVIEW or anybody there knows. And by the way, if you like this video, please click uh, like. And notice I have a happy, a happy, uh, happy arrow that runs. Let me show you how to um, build just real quick because it's helpful. Tools, build application exe have the window open that you're wanting to uh, your llb that's open your your vi your main vi from that all that other stuff i showed you is free so thank you and i love labview and it's a super awesome program but there are little bugs that happen but there generally are workarounds and again like the video if, if it was helpful bye